Good Sunday morning. Um, it has been a while since I have done one of these videos, me food prepping. And to be honest, it's been a while since I've actually sat down and food prep on Sunday like I used to do. So um, last night, um, we cooked up some chicken thighs and removed the skin. So I have um, a nice portion of some chicken thighs and some steamed broccoli. So I'm going to try to actually create some meals around that. So I thought it would be nice to have some um, pesto chicken. And then I thought, okay, what about avocado pesto chicken? So I'm going to make up some avocado pesto chicken, but in a slightly different way. So I have some basil here, right, right here, organic basil. I'm going to use a little bit of pine nuts, not much. Um, instead of Parmesan, I'm going to use some nutritional yeast and salt and of course some olive oil. So I'm going to get all of that into my little bullet here and be right back. Okay, I am back, and this is what it looks like. I have my olive oil in here, some nutritional yeast, salt, um, a little bit of pine nuts, all the basil, and kind of here on top, um, my avocado. So what I am going to do is go ahead and blend this up in my little bullet. I'm not going to make you watch through all of that because um, it's a little bit noisy. And we'll be right back to see what the texture looks like. Okay, and I'm back. And it blended up into a nice, thick, I don't know if you can really see it. Let me see. Thick pesto right here, sauce. So I'm going to give it a taste to see if it needs, actually needs more salt. This is perfect. Sorry, got stuff all over my mouth. But this, yeah, this is perfect. So, um, I have some healthy noodles. I have the chicken, I have the broccoli. So this will pair very well with the noodles and the chicken and maybe mix in the broccoli. So that's meal one option right there. So I'm going to be back and we're going to talk about meal number two option. See you in a bit. Okay, my option number two is I'm going to try and make a creamy chicken sauce. So what i done is I took um, a chicken thigh and deboned it. And I have these little strips left. I have some unsweetened almond milk. And I just have some different herbs and spices and this is just basically just any seasoning you have in your cabinets pantry or whatever just throw it in there and so what I have is actually some Himalayan pink salt pepper garlic onion and a chicken seasoning that I got in one of my keto boxes and that's roughly about it so what I'm going to do is combine all those things into my little bullet, bless my bullet's heart, it's going to get a workout today, and try to come up with a nice creamy chicken sauce that I could mix in with my broccoli and cut up more chicken in and have as a meal. So let me put all that together and I'll be right back with you. This is what it looks like in the bullet. The pieces of chicken, almond milk, and different spices. I'm going to blend and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, I am back. So, actually, it came out so nice and creamy. Look at that. So, let's give it a taste. Oh my God, really good. It reminds me of Campbell's Condensed um, Cream of Chicken Soup. 
really good. So this would be perfect um, mixed in with um, some the chicken and the broccoli. So that's another option. So I did mention that I had um, I deboned. Well, I didn't debone all my chicken thighs, but I took the skin off. And so with the skin, I put it back in the oven, let it crisp up so we would have like um, crispy um, like chicken skin chips. And they are to die for. So of course, we're going to need something to dip them in. So I'm going to be back with um, making a dip for those um, crispy um, chicken skin chips. One moment. Okay, this is going to be the base for me to make some zucchini hummus for my um, crispy chicken skin chips. So the ingredients will be, of course, these little babies here, some garlic, salt, pepper, um, olive oil, but I ran out, so I'm going to use avocado oil. Um, what else? Let me look at my list here. Oh yeah, the main ingredient, tahini and lemon juice. So I'm going to get all those things combined and show you what it looks like. Or I'm just going to combine them and then get them mixed up and then show you the final product. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and this is recipe and what it looks like for my um, zucchini hummus and this will thicken up once you put it in the refrigerator and let's see a taste that's perfect 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 so I'm gonna find a container for this and get it in the fridge and I will be back with you guys Okay, this is going to complete my day for meal prepping. So what this is, is an open face pot pie with cheese. So what I did, I cut up some of my chicken and the sauce that I made with the chicken, I mixed it all together with a little broccoli. I made um, the, a biscuit recipe to put at the base. And I cooked that first and then I dumped everything everything else in and let that cook. And this is what came out. Really nice. And this is actually going to be my first meal of the day. And it's like a little after 1 o'clock. So this is going to end my meal prep. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I've given you some ideas for um, cooking and techniques where you don't have to spend a whole lot of time in the kitchen. And... I will be back with another meal prep, um, hopefully next weekend. So enjoy the rest of your day.